The CA Service Management 17.0 Common Installer provides installation for CA Service Disk Manager, CA Service Catalog, CA Asset Portfolio Management, and Unified Self-Service. In case of upgrades, the installer detects the installed version of CA Service Management in your environment and upgrades it to CA Service Management 17.0. You can also leverage the integration capabilities provided by CA Service Management. The installer performs the prerequisite checks and mandatory validations before installing the products. Right-click on the Setup file. Select Run as Administrator to start the installation. Select the language. For this demonstration, we will select English. Click Next to continue. Select CA Service Management in the Select the Required Installer screen. Scroll down to review the license agreement and then select the option I accept the terms of license agreement. Click Next to continue the installation. CA Service Management supports Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle databases. The database must be installed and configured on a separate server before you install CA Service Management. Let us now select the database in the Database Configuration screen. Let us review the information you need to provide here. Let us select Microsoft SQL Server as the database. Here, Database Server is the host name of the database server based on where you installed your database. Database name specifies the database name of the target DBMS used by service management. The default value is MDB. Database port specifies the port identifier for the target DBMS. Database server instance is the database instance name. This is an optional field. Database admin user is the admin user that has permission to create user and schema. By default, SA is the default value. Multiple CA applications can use the MDB. If the MDB is already installed, the installer will use the same MDB admin user password for CA service management as was specified at the time of the MDB install. In this case, the MDB is not installed. Hence, you need to specify the password for the MDB admin user. For this demonstration, select the CA Service Management option to install CA Service Desk Manager, CA Service Catalog, CA Asset Portfolio Management, Unified Self-Service, and the Common Components. You can choose to install one or more of these products as per your installation requirements. CA Service Desk Manager enables automatic opening of tickets and change orders based on service requests. Along with CASDM, you can install the Unified Self Service, Explore Analyst User Interface, CA Search Server, and Collaboration Server. Select the CA Service Catalog checkbox to install CA Service Catalog. The CA Service Catalog products and components are an integrated set of business applications that a Service Delivery Manager uses to manage services. Select the Unified Self-Service option to integrate it with CA Service Catalog. Scroll down and select CA Asset Portfolio Management. If you are installing CA Asset Portfolio Management capabilities on the same server, ensure to select the required options, either both App Server and Web Server options or any one of these options. The CA Service Management installer does not allow you to add these options later on the same server. Select common components like CAEEM and CA Process Automation to install and integrate with CA Service Management. If you have opted to install CA Service Catalog, then CAEEM is mandatory as it provides authentication and authorization services for CA Service Catalog. Click Next to continue the installation. Review the installation prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. Specify the common administrator details. These details will be configured with the CA Service Management installation. The default value is CASM Admin. Click Next to proceed with the installation. CA Service Desk Manager provides the conventional and advanced availability modes of installation. 
For this demonstration, we will select Conventional. Let's select the server type as Primary Server. Next, select the required options to install along with the primary server. The conventional configuration includes a primary server, a database, and one or more secondary servers. The Service Desk Manager will be installed on the primary server. The CMDB Visualizer and the, the CMDB the CMDB Visualizer and Federated Search options will be installed on the secondary server. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager server details. Most of the settings on this screen will be set to default values. These values provide for communication between processes and components. Specify the privileged user details. This allows the user to log into CA SDN. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager optional component details. The settings on this screen provide port settings between the optional components listed. These components are selected on the CA SDM product configuration screen. Select the CA Service Desk Manager support automation configuration type as main server. CASDM provides the tools to administer live assistance and develop automated tasks. This will help your enterprise reduce average support call duration and overall support costs. Let's see how you can specify the required information to configure support automation with the CA Service Desk Manager. If you select the main server configuration type, the support automation main server will be configured in standalone mode. The host name or IP field defaults to the local host name. All parameters must be provided for the main server except the bind to IP in socket server section which are optional. Complete the Xflow Analyst user interface configuration details. The Xflow Analyst user interface can be installed on Apache or IIS web server. For this demonstration, we will select Apache Web Server. In the Advanced Availability mode, the Xflow Analyst Interface Server can be installed only on an application server. For the conventional configuration, it is recommended that you install the Xflow Analyst User Interface on a secondary server. Specify the system that hosts the web server. By default, your web host is your local system. Ensure that the ports are available before configuring the port information. Enter the search service port number. The default value is 9006. Specify the web server port for Apache Tomcat. The default value is 9002. The default value for the notification service port is 9008. The incident service port indicates the service API port numbers. The default value is 9004. Collaboration service port indicates the port number for the collaboration server. The default value is 9014. Click Next. Complete the search server configuration details. The search server can be deployed on a standalone server if you have installed CASDM in your environment. The server host name indicates the system name or IP address where you've installed the search server. Enter the name of the search server clustered instance. This name should be similar for multiple search server installations in your environment. Specify the search server HTTP port number that is used by search services. Specify the search server TCP port used by the initial load data component of the search server. The initial load data option loads the required data into the search server. This option is available for selection in the installer when you install the search server for the first time. This process may take some time to complete depending on the size of the data that is being loaded. Enter the collaboration server host name. 
specify the port number that is used by the collaboration server. Click Next. Complete the CA service catalog configuration details information. Specify the business unit. Administrators create and maintain business units, tenants as the organizational structure that controls access to data. Select the Select All checkbox to select the complete out-of-the-box content or the ones that you want to install. You can choose to install the out-of-the-box content later after completing the installation process. Click Next. Complete the unified self-service installation and specify the Apache Tomcat port numbers to host the USS server on a local host. Click Browse to select a valid LifeRay zip file path. Do not install LifeRay manually as the installer unzips the downloaded file and installs LifeRay. Click Next. Enter the database information in the Unified Self-Service Database Configuration Details screen. If you have already set up a database, select the Use Existing Database checkbox and select the backup file. The database for Unified Self-Service is created during this installation. Click Next to continue. Enter the SMTP mail server details to send automatic notifications from the Unified Self-Service Community Interface. Select the Enable Authentication option if anonymous users can send emails to the mail server. Ensure that the anonymous user setting is set in the mail server too. Click Next. Provide the CA APM server details. CA APM admin user is the CA Asset Portfolio Management user. If you are installing CA Asset Portfolio Management capabilities on the same server, ensure to select either both App Server and Web Server options or any one of these options. The CA Service Management installer does not allow you to add these options later on the same server. Click Next. Complete the CA EEM configuration details to provide authentication and authorization services. For CA service catalog installation, CA EEM is mandatory. Click Next. Complete the CA process automation configuration details. CA process automation must already be registered and installed before installing CA service management. It is recommended that you do not install the CA Process Automation Domain Orchestrator and CA Process Automation components on the same computer. Click Next. Review the pre-installation configuration summary. Click Next to start the installation process. Review the installation progress. Click Install to begin the installation process. Wait for the installation process to complete. Click Next. Click Save to save the CA Service Management installation summary details. Click Finish to complete the CA Service Management 17.0 installation. You have now successfully installed CA Service Management 17.0. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about CA Service Disk Manager's conventional and advanced availability configurations, please visit the CA Education website.